Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to present a new digital terrain model that was recently presented. It is called Phaton Dem. It was developed by a company specialized in float risk intelligence, Phaton Company. It claims to be a better global terrain model done with special machine learning methodology. It has, like a FabDem, a 30 meter resolution. If the data set is sourced from the United States, the elevation is in feet. If the data set is sourced from international sources, the elevation is in meters, specifically in centimeters. You need to request the access for free if you are a humanitarian. Here you have the link for the access request. Let's first make the request. I get the answer one day later and here is the answer. Once your access request have been accepted, you can access the record clicking on the link and you should automatically be logged in. And here you can see all the tiles of Eurasia and Africa. The data is stored and can be downloaded from the EU Open Research Repository. Here is the link. Here you can find the academic paper. At this point, you open your quantum GIS, you zoom into your area of interest. Here we are again in the Republic of Congo in Betu. As a first step, you check the projection through the lat long plugin tool. It is this one. And you click on this cross and you click somewhere in the area of interest and you can see that your projection would be 34 North UTM. At the same time, you need to know which tile is the right tile for your area. You do it with the plugin called SRTM Downloader. Click on Set Canvas Extent and Download. And here automatically it will tell you which tile is the right one. In this case is tile North 03 East 018. I don't need to download the SRTM digital elevation model. Also I can delete this group. Once I have these two information, I will set up my quantum GIS with the right projection. I go to setting option and here I will choose the right projection as default 34 north as well here and from now on all my new shape file are going to have the right projection i go back to the zenodo where the fatum digital terrain model is stored after having logged in and below here i will have all the tiles i look for the right tile of my area which is north 03 east 18 this is this one because it stays between north 0 and north 30 and east 0 and east 30. So I click on download knowing that it is a huge file, 13 gigabyte. I download it and this will take a long time. In my case, it takes around 30 minutes. I speed up the process and I have my document already here, 13 gigabyte. I unzip this document, also this process takes long time. The tiles unzipped, now I look for my right one, which is North 3 and East 18. This one, I will just change the name so that I will recognize it easily. I call it Fatom Dem Betu and I copy it in my folder, here it is. I go back now to my quantum gis and i upload this digital terrain model let's see if it is on the right position yes it is on the right position as you can see it is a huge tile so i can crop this If we check the information of this cropped digital terrain model, we can see that this digital terrain model has geographic coordinate that need to be converted into UTM coordinate. And also you should know that the elevation is given in centimeters. So we need to reproject 
the digital terrain model and also convert the elevation from centimeter into meter. We do that with the processing toolbox through the command called warp. Now you choose the clipped digital terrain model. The source projection is geographic. The target projection is UTM 34 North. Best is to use the bilinear resampling method. It gives a smoother result and the rest you keep it as it is and we can keep it as a temporary file you run it okay here we have now our reprojected digital terrain model let's check the information we can see that this model has the right projection and the units are meters but if we check through the identify features the value we still see that we have 33,550 as a number. This is centimeter, so we can convert the centimeter in meter through the raster calculator. You go to raster calculator, you choose the reprojected file, you divide it, this information by 100. Output layer would be Fatum Dame B2 UTM meters. Okay, the target projection is fine. Here you could actually increase the resolution. At the moment, we know that the resolution is around 30 meter per pixel. Knowing that increasing the resolution doesn't mean that your digital terrain model increases on quality, but just it gives smoother result when you do a terrain analysis. I click okay and here it is now we have the new digital terrain model reprojected in utm and with meter elevation let's cross check through the identify features i click somewhere and here i see now that i have 335.88 meters no more centimeter at this point i have my digital model i can develop the contour line i do it very quick if you want to know how to make nice looking contour line please have a look to my previous tutorial i just want to compare the contour line of FATOM DEM digital terrain model with FAP DEM digital terrain model and with SRTM digital terrain model in order to see the difference. I do it quick. I do the contour line every 20 cm. Fine, I smooth the contour line. Offset 0 0.5, contour line 20 cm fat on them. I run. Now I style the contour line. Here it is. Now we have here all the contour line. We can see first the contour line of SRTM, which doesn't seem to be really realistic. This contour line is based on SRTM, which is also the digital elevation model for Google Earth. Here we have the contour line of FABDEM. This looks much more realistic, but let's have a look on this area here. Here we have the cemetery. It's a forest and here is all a forest. You can see it's rather irregular. And now let's see our new contour line of FABDEM. It looks much better. In reality, this forest is a flat area exactly like the other one. And also here is a flat area and it is not as in fab them consider as a hill if we compare the absolute elevation we see that we do not have a huge difference like let's change maybe the color so that we can see better the difference the red one 
are the contouring of Fatom and the grau one are the Fabdem. There is not a really big difference, 20 centimeter of difference between the two. It looks actually much realistic with Fatom Dem. If we consider the absolute difference with SRTM, we see that the difference is rather big, 340, we, we have around 5 meter difference in the contour line. So that's it, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope that you are going to use in the future the digital terrain model of Fatom Dem. Thanks for following to the end.